Washington State, Muhammad Gay. Uh, 20 years of age, 6'11", probably a late, mid to second, mid to late second round player. Um, yeah. 26 usage for a big man is a is a decent number. The 53-2 shooting is pretty low. W- what is this guy as a player? You see some highlights for him. You see some interesting, um, some dunks that he throws down. Um, but I, I, I don't know. that the, the low efficiency as a center is absolutely my number one red flag there. So why is it that low? And is that fixable? Um, really athletic, big, good ball skills for his position. Uh, it just feels like he desperately wants to be a guard. And oh, the old pressure's a chewer moment. Uh, or the Kai Jones. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the highlight tape's awesome because yep, he's really is. athletic, really good footwork, good balance, all that kind of stuff. But and just the the efficiency's not there. He's a theoretical shooter, but twenty seven point five percent from three is not a good shooter um he had a real tendency to just constantly get out muscled by the other nba caliber pac-12 big men um questionable kind of processing speed on both ends he could turn into a black hole once he got the ball and just had blinders on only looking for the rim uh and then just the ball security those blinders often led to him not recognizing when doubles would come and missing kickout passes or dump offs to cutters if he could develop that passing vision a little more, um, you know, then we're talking about some intriguing upside with his offense, but that's a really hard skill to develop, especially for a pretty raw center. Um, just didn't establish post position consistently. The defensive is eh, just chased a lot of blocks. It was, it was fun. It was athletic, but I I'm, I'm questionable on how it actually translates to an NBA context. You said he chased a lot of blocks, yet his block numbers are putrid. Like he played ten yeah. extra minutes this season compared to his freshman season, and and averaged fewer blocks. He went from and he didn't average a lot in his freshman year, point nine down to point eight. Like they are they are ridiculously low for a big man. Yeah. Um, and that that's again that's you know, what what are you doing like in this position? Why do you why are you trying to do something that you're not good at? Um, and that's you know, being this offensive self creator player. And you not be able to position yourself defensively. Like there are just tons of red flags in a lot of these numbers for him. Maybe he thinks he could be a shooter, can't hit free throws. So you'd want to be able to do that um, before you start thinking that you're going to be able to take them. Uh, really, even mid-range jumpers or, or three pointers. And defensively, like you're not really doing anything here that's protecting the rim. And the fact that those numbers drop so significantly from year one to year two at Washington State is a is a big issue to me as well. And yeah, these high usage inefficient centers, they just really don't have a place in the NBA. So I'm pretty down on what Gay can um can provide. Do you think there's any chance he goes back to school? Um I, I thought I heard that he's planning on staying in. Okay. I I think that's a mistake. I would go back uh, or even, you know, look to go to the Ignite. I, I think what they've done in developing their guys and putting them in tough positions to make them better all around basketball players is exactly what he needs. So I I really worry about him finding his way to a position that's going to help him develop. Um, My guess would be someone gives him a two way just because of how athletic and kind of interesting he could be. I think the most optimistic outcome for him would be like a Nas Reed type player, but there's going to have to be a big transformation with his offensive decision-making and shooting. Yeah, there is. And yeah, Things can work out. Things can change. He's not super old, but nothing so far has been particularly encouraging. But this show 